This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and this here is a video about a page six article called Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Airbrush Time 100 cover gets roasted. Now, I've been thinking lately about Meghan and Harry and the videos I'm making about them and the purpose they serve. Now, unlike Amber Heard, where the purpose is to expose the things she does, to expose her lies and spread the word, no matter how small the detail, I think it's useful. In this case of Meghan and Harry, it's not quite the same. So what I want to do moving forward with these two is try to figure out where the media stands with them and what websites are on their side or against them. So page six here, when I read this article, I want to keep in mind what they're trying to say. Now, they do condemn some people for criticizing Meghan and Harry. However, by actually promoting the negativity, they're on those people's side in a way. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new Time 100 cover was roasted by internet users who believed the photo was heavily airbrushed. Now, that's not an opinion. I think we can tell by eye at this point if it's an actual organic photo, makeup's fine, or if it's been touched up by computers. And in this case, looking at it, that does look pretty perfect. It does look like more than makeup to me. They continue, the magazine released a cover picture of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on Wednesday in which they appear with eerily glowing smooth skin, creepy bright eyes, and in Harry's case, suspiciously fuller hair. Netizens flock to Twitter to share their thoughts on the alleged retouching. The airbrush is doing some heavy lifting there, one person tweeted on Wednesday. The cover looks so fake. Oh wait, it's because they are, someone else wrote. Some thought the mag did a number on Harry's infamously receding hairline. Is Harry wearing a rug or just overdone the airbrushing, wondered one user. Another thought Harry and Markle looked like royals in an animated Disney flick writing, terrible retouching job, they look CGI. Jesus, I thought this was a parody account with a clearly photoshopped creepy cover, then I noticed the blue tick. Wow, has time fallen hard, someone else tweeted. One troll wrote, that the couple looked so plastic that they could not tell whether the image was real or Photoshop. So like I said, they call people a troll, which is obviously insinuating that the person isn't being useful or critical, but trolling on purpose to make fun of. And hey, the tone's not great here, but they're not pointing out anything that's completely out of line, that's completely unrealistic. They're pointing out a pretty serious possibility that I'm sure people who were actually fans of them would have to admit as well. So it's not really trolling. It's just putting your opinion out there. Others meanwhile dragged time for the way they positioned Megan in front of Harry for the photo op. Who approved this shot? Is he standing? Is he sitting? Is he holding onto her shoulder so he doesn't fall? Why would you make such lovely looking people look like this? One Twitter user asked. This cover is giving me stepbrothers. And by the way, I love this movie. It's pretty old, but I don't know. It just kind of nailed it. I find this movie hilarious. I don't quite make the connection between Megan and Harry and Step Brothers, but all right. Nice tweet. Others, however, seemed unbothered by the cover and praised the pair over the photo. Amazing cover. Love all the good work. They are doing despite the vicious attacks coming at them by the firm wrote a fan. Keep up the good work. Harry and Megan, your humanitarian work speaks for itself. It's the glow for me. This is what peace and happiness does, tweeted another. Well, here's the thing. I just don't think saying the cover looks so fake counts as an attack. That's not an attack. I mean, I know they're not talking about that one tweet, but I mean this one here too. The airbrush is doing some heavy lifting there. Okay, that's not an attack. So they definitely didn't print any attacks, quote unquote, in this article here. I'm sure they got some nasty comments. That's what happens. That's what you got to expect on the internet. I once in a while refer to this YouTuber I watched named Anna, that Star Wars girl. And, you know, she had some really incredibly discouraging, nasty things said about her that I can even believe. And what she said was, if you can't take it, get off the internet. If you can't take it, that's your fault because you know it's going to happen. So if you're fighting it, 
You're just playing the victim. It's like taking a swim in the ocean and trying to punch away sharks. You're like, ah, oh, these damn sharks, I gotta get rid of these things. I can't, you know, ah, now I can't swim in the ocean. Oh, poor me. Well, I mean, there's gonna be dangers if you swim in the ocean. You know, punching away jellyfish. Oh, these damn jellyfish. I, oh, poor me. I'm such a victim swimming in the ocean. You jump in the water and you're taking that risk. You know it. Anyway, you guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Gotta thank Lotus Flower for sending me this, or I think it's Lotus Blossom. I keep getting confused. Thanks for the article. Anyway, we're done here. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time. <laughs>